just so you guys all know, my cameras are on and they record the intercom chat as well, okay? <laughs> just so you know. Everyone leaves group chat. So as you can see, we're in lovely spring in Wales. <laughs> oh Christ, where's my rucksack? Hang on. If a tree falls down in the forest and my wife's not there to hear it, am I still wrong? <laughs> yes, yes. It's like taking your message to Greg's for a bloody slap up dinner. Nothing wrong in that. Tents are frozen. <laughs> right then, folks, welcome to day two. There are a few, uh, shall we say, delicate people this morning. We've headed into Aberystwyth. We've gone to the Golden Arches for a good old slap up breakfast. Probably the slowest. McDonald's I think I've ever been in but anyway we're now on the road and uh, yeah we're just following the crowd at the moment there's 15 of us well actually 14 poor old Harley who was supposed to meet us this morning on his Pan American uh, the bike won't start so he's gonna have to miss out unfortunately so sorry to miss you Harley we've got one behind and everybody else is up front there Right, let's have a roll call. If you have a channel, shout out your channel. Go. Bike out to Pasty. Bike out Pasty. Life in the shady lane. Life in the shady lane. Excellent. Any advances? Oh, I'm going to shout out for Steve because he's got he's the bolt hole biker. Bolt hole biker. Right. Okay. Yeah, folks. As you can hear, I uh, I can now record the group chat. There is a video coming that's going to tell you how to do that. But yes, we have all the people here. So we've got the Bolt Hole Biker, make sure you check out their channel. We've got Life in the Shady Lane, and we've got My Count Pasty. So make sure you check out all those channels, folks. I'll leave links down below. Don't forget OnlyFans. Oh, oh yeah, and Adam's, uh, I think it's, what is it, Growlers Are Us is your no, OnlyFans. No, it's not, it's, uh, it's Dicky Anus. <laughs> Dicky Anus, no, <laughs> he's already got that one. So as you can see, we're in lovely spring in Wales. Look at that sunshine. Oh, it's glorious, isn't it? I can't see anything. My visor's all steamed up. <laughs> now, if you're looking at me through the cockpit camera, folks, you can probably see this thing sat on the side of my lid. This is the Techologic DC-1 camera. So if you have a little look there, it's got forward and rearward facing lenses in one camera. It's supposed to be like a dash cam type system. One thing that I've noticed about it already, folks, is when you start it, there's a button somewhere here. That button is quite hard to feel once you have your gloves on, and especially once your hands are cold. The good thing about it is when you activate the camera, you switch it on or you switch it off, it automatically will start recording when you switch it on, and it vibrates pretty profusely when you turn it on. The problem is, I don't think there's any difference between like the vibration you get when you turn it on and the vibration you get when you turn it off. So, once it's on your lid there, you don't really know if it's on or off anymore. Because you can't see it, well, you can't see anything, can you? Even if I try and look in my mirrors, I can't see the camera. And that, folks, is about all I can tell you at the moment. Hopefully it's running. I switched it on earlier, but I was having a fiddle trying to find the button. I'm hoping I've not turned it off. I think we'll have a look at that. Look at that. Montage. He's on a Senna. I was like, get. All right. <laughs> and we're here. Bit of dronage. sync everything up one two three i'm just gonna let the technologic run and we'll see how long the battery lasts because it wasn't recording when i gave you all that spiel before yeah. <laughs> like i said folks there's no way of knowing if that's on or not once you're riding you literally have to switch it on feel it vibrate and then leave it that's what my missus does children they're children oh christ where's my rucksack hang on <laughs> <laughs> Here's a top question to think about. Go on then. 
if you punch yourself and you hurt yourself, are you weak or are you strong? If you punch yourself and you hurt yourself, are you weak or strong? That's a podcast question, that is. I need a beer to <laughs> contemplate that. If a tree falls down in the forest and my wife's not there to hear it, am I still wrong? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> that have been forced to go to Ikea today. Look at that! This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is nice. Straightest trees I've ever seen. If you put your heated jacket on and turn it right up and then really squint your eyes, you could be <laughs> up on like the Pacific coast somewhere with the giant redwoods. You need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> right, I should come up one. Two, three. So some people are going to go off and do the off-road section and there's a few of us heading back to the visitor centre to use the facilities. Oh, clear, 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 clear. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a bit wide on that one. That's up a bit, isn't it? Oh, I've got my bloody suitcases on. Did you let me buy? Yeah. Lovely, and it? it just does everything. Yeah. Now, I wonder if that was that biker, is it Ma Maya? She does tours around Wales on our D oh, yes. Ducati yeah. Sport, and that's what Super yeah. Sport. I don't think that was probably her. Then come up one, two, three. Right then, folks, I just had a spot of luncheon on for the afternoon. Now, I now have the uh, the next Ecologic camera on. This is the latest one, which is the, I think it's XV1, they call this one. Again, pretty tricky to find the button. Again, vibrates when it switches on, but there's no real vis visual indication when you're wearing it, that, that it's working, that it's on and it's working. Um, that's probably something I think needs a little bit of work. Maybe some sort of little LED somewhere, just maybe flash so that when you look in the, the wing mirror you can see if it's on or not. But anyway, that's it on. But we've got the GoPro, this is the Hero 10 running obviously, so we'll compare that to that. I don't think that can compete at all to the, uh, to the GoPro, but you never know. Let's have a look and see what the footage is like. Let's hit the road. We've got about 60 miles left to ride for today. And we're doing a spot of camping this evening. Now Graham is going to be running a few more of these uh, trips. These are the sort of adventure bike TV, motorbike TV, Welsh Wales road trips. If you go onto their website, there'll be links down below and you can book yourself to come on one of these too. You meet up late afternoon on the Friday, it's normally about four o'clock-ish. And then we finish around about the two, three o'clock on the Sunday. And it is a nice little taster. If you've never ridden in Wales before, or even if you have, it's just a very nice, relaxed trip with some like-minded people. The pace definitely, it's not fast. You know, you're not, you're not gonna be 
spanking it around the, the roads, but you certainly have some fun. Right, suppose we better get these reprobates in there, eh? so I will switch on the uh, comms. Hello, tank top mobile, DMC, intercom, mode, mobile phone, one, connected. Is there anybody there? Hello, Bruce. Hello, how do? It's a bit of a crazy road junction, that one. Thank you. It is a weird one, that, yeah. How did you get on to the California Superboy School then, uh, Bruce? Uh, well, I've done I've done levels one and two. I'm, I'm yeah. doing three and four in June. Up at, uh, I'm back at Cadwell again, so I'm looking forward to that. That should be a giggle. I've been quite lucky in that I've had the same instructor uh, the last, well, the, for the, the two times that I've been before, uh, right. Martin, and hopefully I'll, I think I've got him again for levels three and four, so that should be fun. The old stop. Gotcha. I think I've just got the 400 mile range. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got an adventure, have you? Yeah. Fist off. <laughs> Oh, do they not have the super duper stuff? Oh god, just got peasant unleaded. Oh no. Peasant <laughs> unleaded. I can't put that on my bloody pride and joy. You're not true Scottish, are you really? It's like taking your missus to Greg's for a bloody slap up dinner. Can't do that. Nothing wrong in that. 11 litres. 54 quid. <laughs> yeah. 18 pound. Bloody yeah. hell. Okay, helmet cam, cockpit cam, and come up. One, two, three. This is a good road. Strap in. Oh yeah, nationals! Rabbit speed. <laughs> oh god, I smell burning oil. Is that KTM? <laughs> please, please don't die on me, Heidi. Please don't die. Keep going. <laughs> Can I have some Martin diapers? <laughs> and you'll be there, won't you, mate? You'll be there. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> We came up here on a big little adventure, me and Fish, on the Wee125s. <laughs> Just having a whale of a time trying to get up these hills and then yeah. screaming still down the, the other side. <laughs> still one of the funniest bits I've seen. Oh, it was great fun, that. I'd like the three of us to go on like a European road trip on 125s. So I think it would be a scream. It's nice, this road, isn't it? Oh, it's, a beaut, yeah. it's nice when you get out of second gear as well. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's another red line. Hells for a change. And that's a horse. Well done, Matt Adam. This is a tree. That's a letterbox. <laughs> Postbox. We'll practice number of letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. That is. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. I'm assuming this road's not one way, or is it one way? That has a two way. It's not a double check. Oh look, it's raining. Actually, it's like hail. Oh, better stop that. Just gone over the Breckens, folks, and we're heading to the pub campsite. Clear. All out. All out. Nash. Nash, no. Everyone's gone very quiet. Nico likes to lean that bike. Come on, tap the over it. Straight up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got you. Very posh. Right, premium location. Where would you like to go? Uh, wherever, mate. We're just here, fine. Close to the oh. toilets, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, we're going here, will we? Yeah, I got it. 
Someone's going to buy that. We here. Okay, the Lone Rider tent. How long does it take to pick up? <laughs> It's enormous, isn't it? And the tent. So, let me show you the crib. This is the Lone Rider. What is this tent? Anyone know what this tent is? It's the big tent, the Lone Rider big tent, that one, where apparently you can put a bike in it. I wouldn't advise you do, do that, do it, do it, but do apparently it. you can. I mean, watch this. Six foot three, I can stand up straight in it. Come in, let me show you around. So here we are. This is a little garage area if you wanted to. And I put you on wide, there we go. So if you wanted to, you could put your bike in. I wouldn't advise you to do that. You don't want your bike in your tent, but there's plenty of floor space there. You can get a ground sheet for that if you want. So it's another living area. And here is a sleeping accommodation. My crib. Got uh, the Van Gogh Trek 5 standard, bought that on Amazon, uh, sort of air mattress, and that is my Van Gogh Venom 400 sleeping bag that I took around the world. Have I told you I've been around the world? I've washed that once. Sorry, wife. Pretty straightforward to put up, not too much hassle at all. I will confess, one of the poles snapped when I was at the Winter Overlander, but it was proper windy and um, I think I hadn't put the poles in properly. It's probably my fault. But anyway, they've replaced them and here we go. Hopefully it'll stay up tonight and the tent. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, you oh yes. What do you find today then, gents? Enjoy? Fantastic. Cracking day. The Good scenery right? was lovely. The scenery was awesome. Off-road was awesome. Yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. 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 Excellent. Yeah. Adam's a man of many, many words. I don't know. So, man, how was your toasty warm uh, oh, it was hotel room? <laughs> All right, was it? Yeah, yeah. I had to crack the window out at one point. It was a bit warm. We hate them. <laughs> hate them. <laughs> Tents are frozen. <laughs> Just jealous. Gra Graham slept in the shower block. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ma Matt's jacket that got covered in beer yesterday in the top box is frozen solid. Yeah. <laughs> I had a fabulous plan for making a brew next to the tent because I'm organised and bring my stove with me, which would work if the tap wasn't frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Camping's great, come. <laughs> All right then. As all the ice is melted off on the kit, let's start the last day here in Welsh Wales. I am so glad this bike started. The amount of abuse I've been giving the KTM boys. <laughs> One of them actually needed a jump start this morning. Poor old Nigel there. But he's got the bike going. And I was thinking, oh God, if mine doesn't start, I am going to get pelters. Morning, Viscounts. <laughs> How are you? This man here is the loudest snorer you will ever meet in your life. Oh, what? Did you hear me as well? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, it's beautiful. It's now seven degrees. It was about minus seven overnight. And um plan this morning is we're just le doing a leisurely run to Llandovery, to the Owl's Nest. I think my mate Roger's going to meet us up there from um, the Influencer Store, the one that does all the merch. And then um, I think we're heading up into the mountains through the Breckens and uh, carrying on with the day. Let's get to it. So that, folks, if you're watching, was the ancient Britain pub and campsite. Lovely. Shower blocks are incredibly warm, so even if it is freezing cold during the night, go and sleep in the shower blocks. Lovely. The rooms are nice. <laughs> the, room, the rooms are nice. What were they? About 80 odd quid a night? 85 quid, yeah. 85 quid. It's probably going to be more expensive during peak season, obviously, but you know, this is, what, what are we, April? And uh, yeah, 85 quid a night. Lovely. Good food. Nice bar. And now we're on our way to Chlanchavri to the Owl's Nest. Uh. 
Beautiful. You were listening. Is that Matthew? Of course he is. Oh, star pupil. Star pupil. He's a good boy. Nice lad. I'm sure you had more on your bike than that yesterday, Matt. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Tell everybody, in case I never got it on camera yesterday. You brought a load of beer with you. What happened, Matt? Um, I decided to do the off-road section for Graham. What? Yep. <laughs> and when I got, got back to the campsite and opened the top box, it was a uh, half full of beer. It was having a whale of a time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And so were your jackets and clothing. Yeah. <laughs> Everything, basically. <laughs> I didn't laugh, honest. I'll probably get steamboats sat behind him, actually. It's va <laughs> vaporising into my general direction. And here we are folks, this is the Owl's Nest. So it's just in the town of Llandovry, as you head out past the uh, rugby club on the right hand side. Oh my god, look, GS wankers. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna have a custard slice. Ooh. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Folks, if you like that footage, it's from this man here, Hello. Viscount Pasty. Check out his channel. So this is—I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it, is it Brinaman. 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 Some lovely roads around here. Ricardo, radio off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that being me, and I just really? disconnected it. I don't even have an Alexa in my house. I don't want any of that. I've seen Terminator. Right folks, I'm going to park company. This, if you're not sure, this is Graham, who runs these trips. Hi Graham. Hey. Graham, where do people go if they want to come along? So, um, adventurebytv.com forward slash road trip. There'll be links down below. Oh, I'm amazed I remembered that. And um, you've got another one running in? Uh, start of May, mm -hmm. uh, another one end of July. And I'm, on, I'm doing the July one, so there's one in May, and there's another one in July. There'll be links down below, Bosh. Right. Sorry, I'm going to have to shoot early, but thank you very much for, for having us along. If you come in the April one, folks, make sure you bring warm camping kit so you're not freezing your danglies off like I do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Proper bivvy bags. These are the uh, suspects for all today. Wave, everybody wave. And uh, yeah, myself, Matt, Adam, we're now going to hit the road. And that'll be us. So folks, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you check out the links down below. Check out everybody else's channels because they're going to have versions of what's going on here. Uh, make sure you give them some support, show them the love and look after yourselves. Keep doing your thing. Look after those that you love, but most importantly... Live your life. Live your life. See, eventually. They got it eventually. See you later. Oh, oh, oh. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Edit, edit that out. <coughs>